All right, so in the last video of this, I did a second video with the optic on there to see if I could shoot it much better than in the original review video. Um, but in that video, I had an issue where this thing keeps locking back after it was out. Okay, took the mag out, so you should just be able to pull the slide back and release it now. And it won't release. It kept doing that to me in that video. Uh, with the optic on there. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of that video if you want to see it happen to me as I'm trying to fire the thing. Uh, same thing if there was a, you put a fresh mag with a live round in. I could show it right now, but I'm not going to bother. Same thing, you pull back on it and it will not chamber unless you press the slide release, okay? So right now, you should be able to pull it back and release it. There's no mag in it and I can't. You have to use the slide release. So what's causing that, uh, another viewer, a viewer I should say, pointed out to me that uh, apparently this is a known common issue, or at least it's becoming a common issue. Uh, so what occurs here is this little, the takedown on this is really weird. You have to, this should be up, and I'm going to display that more now, but you can see it's up right there. That has a little spring that attaches to it. You see how it just falls? Okay. So this should be up and then normally to take the gun down you'd have to snap it down and then you'll punch that pin through like about there that way you can take the slide off and whatnot um so the little retaining spring for that uh comes off so you see i'm gonna flip it upside down here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but uh basically see <laughs> it's just flopping around there so normally it should be all the way up like that. Clearly you can see in here with it just flopping around in there. I have no tension on it whatsoever. And so when that occurs, that is when uh, this issue occurs to where you cannot release the slide with no mag in it or on a loaded mag. By pulling it back, you have to use the slide release. But apparently that's best case scenario because this can also cause the gun to just lock back while firing randomly which obviously that'll get you killed um, so this is a big issue also I found I cannot take it down currently it's hard to see on here but on this back part there there you can kind of see it see how it's sticking up like a millimeter um, it's catching on that spring or whatever has fallen in there and I can't actually depress this all the way like you're supposed to be able to to get that pin out it's kind of hard to see on camera here but the pin is still just barely catching this, so unless I forced it and took a hammer and a punch and forced it past this, because it's making slight impact with that, that gate right now, um, I cannot get it out. So on top of the issues I already uh, explained, uh, it also makes it difficult and or impossible to break this thing down for cleaning and whatnot. So major issue there. And I haven't looked into it a whole lot personally, but like I said, that viewer that left that comment said it's becoming a common issue on these. So that's good to know. And it only took like just over 100 rounds for mine to start doing that. So apparently send the gun in and they send a new uh, frame and spring and all that that is, I guess, corrected so that it will no longer happen. So beware of that if you buy one of these. It usually doesn't take very long from what I've read and heard. Um, this is an issue these things have. So, I'll be sending mine in the Ruger here shortly, get her fixed, and we'll do a little follow-up video on it. I guess there won't be a whole lot to follow, but we'll go over it anyways, just kind of see the paperwork and what they did end up replacing and whatnot, and, you know, we'll shoot it some and whatnot, but I personally don't really have the money to put, like, several hundred rounds through it to test it real well after I get it back, so, um... That would be ideal, I know, put like 500 rounds through it, make sure it's not going to happen again. But I'm sure since they're aware of the issue and they are proactively addressing it with redesigned slides and springs and whatnot, I don't think it's going to be an issue after you get it back. But like I said, we'll document what the paperwork says, put a few rounds through it, see how long it takes to get it back and all that. Um, that said, I will have, after that follow-up video, after we get it back from Ruger, I will have some comparison videos on this. I actually just got a TX4 we're going to compare it to. I have a P365 we're going to compare it to, and so on and so forth. Plan on getting a Hellcat and whatnot. So you will see it in upcoming videos. Uh, so we'll be getting more rounds put through it after the fix. So you'll be able to see more rounds fired through it during those follow-up videos. So we may end up getting a few hundred rounds through it before it's all said and done. So I guess just uh, stay tuned uh, on those videos, and that dot looks huge on the camera. It's like half that in person. <laughs>
it's neat though because the camera makes it look perfectly round because I must have astigmatism or something because when I look at it, it's kind of like star pattern and whatnot. Um, but anyways, stay tuned on those comparison videos after the follow-up video if you want to know uh, whether or not this thing has any further issues once I get it back. But I will catch you then.